Hi, my name is Dr. Pecoraro. I'm a chiropractor in Westfield, New Jersey. I've also been a wrestler and a coach. And today I wanted to speak about the correct use of the Navy ride. A lot of, a lot of you probably use this, and uh, some of you use it good, some of you don't. So I wanted to bring to you something, information, so that you have a, a general understanding of what's, what this is for. Now, usually with the Navy ride, your opponent is sitting on his butt on the mat, and your hand is in between his legs, usually like this on his far leg, the leg that's farthest away from you. And if you could think of this Navy ride just like a half Nelson and a reverse half, if you, gra you can grasp his leg that's closest to you as a that would be kind of like a half Nelson. Or you could grasp his far leg this way, just like a reverse half. And if your opponent is moving, turning towards you, you do like a half on his near leg. If he's moving away from you, you do like a reverse half on his far leg. Sometimes your opponent will be pushing very hard away from you. And your arm will start to straighten out and you'll start to go over a little bit. What you want to do is free your other hand and place it on the mat on the opposite side of your opponent to brace it as you try to pull up on this leg. Now, you might, you might even have to use both arms on his legs to pull him up. But eventually, he'll start leaning towards you and you're going to have to switch to the near leg. So you want to switch your Navy ride from one way to the other way, one way to the other way, depending on which way your opponent's moving. And as soon as you can, reach out for the half or the reverse half. Sometimes you won't even have to reach out for the half. With your hand that's not in between his legs, you can grasp around his waist and grab his hip, and many times even just get back points this way. So. I wanted to bring you this information so you could think of the Navy ride in this way because I've always seen guys many times will just use the one kind and you could really go one way or, one way or the other, either way. So I hope you'll try this out in practice, talk it over with your coach, think about it, and I hope it becomes helpful to you someday. Thank you very much.